Welcome to this GCC Innova blog regarding installing the Office 365 link client onto a Windows operating system. We must start by downloading the link client from the Microsoft Office 365 portal, which is located at https colon forward slash forward slash logon.microsoft.com. In this example, I have already downloaded the link client onto a share on the local C drive of the machine. I simply move myself to that share, highlight the link setup.exe file and double click and run it. At this point, the link client will ask me to install it into a default location. I simply accept that and click install. The link client will now go away and install itself onto the local C drive plus additional add-ins that it requires. As you can see on the screen, it is currently installing Microsoft Silverlight. This process should take no more than a few minutes to install the client. The link client comes in two versions, a 32-bit version and 64-bit version for the operating systems of Windows 8, Windows 7, XP and Vista. As you can see, it's now installed. I leave the tick on Start Link and click Close. This will now set up Link to come. What you then need to do is click on the Tools options, go to Tools, go to Options, and under Advance, ensure that these settings here have been enabled which is sipdir.online.link.com colon 443. By default, this setting is set to automatically. You need to set it to manual and type those entries in to both lines. Then click OK. You will also be asked as a sign-in email address. Simply type that in there and click OK. Once you get to this point, you will notice the first time interlink, it will also ask you to download and install a Microsoft Online Cloud product. I'm simply just going to run this add-in, and this will be installed automatically to my machine. I accept the terms and conditions, and I hit install. This is now installing the Microsoft Online Service Sign-in Assistant, which is required by Link. Once this has been completed, simply hit sign in. It'll ask you for your Microsoft Office 365 password, which is the same password that you use to go into your email and click sign in. At this current time, my link username and password is authenticating with the Microsoft Data Center to confirm that it is a valid account to use Link. In a few minutes this should come up and you now have the Link client available. <clears throat> you have this option here to go through some basic steps or simply click across here and you now have Link client up and working on your machine. Many thanks, this blog has been brought to you by GCC Innova. Thank you and goodbye.